Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Books My Quiet Friends. My name's Sydney and today I'm here to bring you a quick book haul. So I had already filmed this video once and then my book outlet box came the next day so I figured I might as well just refilm on a day where I'm kind of dressed like a person. So here you go. I was in the city visiting my boyfriend not too long ago and while I was there I picked up the most recent four editions of Saga, so four, five, wait no, five, six, seven, and eight. I can count, it's good. I am gonna have to reread the original four to re-catch up on what I've already read, but I'm excited to speed read through these because I saw pop figures and I would really, really like to buy one. I just want to be caught up before I do that. I also picked up Restore Me by Tahira Mafi. I finished the Shatter Me series this year. This is making me so nervous. What if it does not go the way I want it to go. You know, you ever ship a ship so hard and you're worried that the author changed their mind about the ship? That's me right now. But I want to know what everyone's talking about. I'm curious to see if I will just like the original three the most or if I'll like the continuation. We will see. The next two books I picked up because they've been so highly hyped on booktube, which could backfire. The first being The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I really really wanted to pick this up mostly because everyone says it has Faye and I'm really into Faye. I'm curious about them ever since, I don't know, a while back. I've been interested in Faye but I don't know if the hype is going to ruin this for me so I might put it off a little bit. We'll see. I just want to see what everyone's talking about. The next book comes highly recommended from everyone on booktube and that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi. This book is supposed to be like everyone's wanted fantasy from a different culture that we don't get to see in fantasy very often. So I am psyched to read this. It's hefty, but it's also beautiful. Like there's a map on the inside. Look, it's just, it's very pretty. I'm nervous. I'm excited. What can I say? I don't know if this will be on my TBR sometime soon. As per usual, I like to buy things and put them off. So we will see. At a used bookstore, I also picked up Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer um, by Rick Riordan. Everyone is really, really into Rick Riordan lately, and my boyfriend's really into Norse mythology, so I thought this might be one that him and I could read together and enjoy, or I'll just read it and tell him all about it, and he can explain parts that I'm not really familiar with. Who knows? We'll find out. But I do love Rick Riordan's writing style and I'm excited to read yet another series by him. At this used bookstore I also found The Walled City by Ryan Grodden. This book I actually funnily enough took out on audiobook last night because it was the only one available that I was interested in on Overdrive. Um, this seems very interesting. It is based around what I gather is people who have been thought to be past criminals such as murderers, thieves, like everywhere in between are in a walled city and it's pretty much like fight for your life, depend on yourself. I'm super nervous, super excited. I'm hoping the audiobook is good. If it's not, I'm probably just going to pick up the physical copy and blow through it. The writing's not terribly huge and it has three different perspectives which is something I'm really interested in. Okay, now. Now I'm going to do this lovely book unboxing because I'm in no way paid or promoted by Book Outlet, but I mean, if you wanted to hit me up, I wouldn't say no. Paper that I will pick up later. Oh, I forgot I bought some of these. Okay. <laughs> book Outlet is bomb.com. Even though I am not sponsored by them in any way, I would rep them no matter what. They have dented scratch books. They have books that covers have changed for like half the price, 70% off sometimes. I freaking love it. The shipping, not my favorite, but I mean, you're getting new books that no one else has used for like bottom dollar. You know what I'm saying? One of the books I picked up on Book Outlet is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This I've heard is really good. I think what happens is it starts at the beginning with someone being in jail and then it goes backwards in time to a theater troupe and like what happened and why this person's in jail. I think. I don't know. I've heard good reviews. I've heard bad reviews. I want to make my own opinion and the cover is like interesting to me. I do love a good skull. 
And also, like, aren't they a Shakespearean troupe? Yeah, they are. That's what's up. I am super excited to get to this at some point in my life. I also picked up All We Have Left by Wendy Mills. Pretty sure this was on my to-buy list. Mostly because of the cover and how cute it is. Ooh, it's about some hard-hitting things. Ooh, it's one of them serious contemporaries that I love, so I'm excited to get to this at some point. I also picked up this Savage Song by VE Swap. Ignore this 20% off sticker from Target, because there is no Target in Canada. Joke's on you. Um, this has been going all over the place, and the second book in the duology is already out, so this one I can binge read quickly, which is something I need to start doing more of because I keep starting new series and not finishing them because the next book isn't out yet, and it's very irritating to my type A personality. Uh, the next one I picked up was Autonomous by Annalie Newitz. This I've seen all over bookstores. It's a short read, and I'm pretty sure this is the one about the guy who makes a drug that makes work addictive and people start dying from it? That could be really wrong. Sometimes I only half listen to descriptions. But I'm surprised how short this is. For some reason I thought it was longer. So I'm excited about this. I do really like like the what ifs, the Black Mirror style of like, ah, the future. I also picked up Goliath by Scott Westerfield. For some reason I thought I bought the second book, Behemoth, as well, but I didn't. And also I didn't know that this was going to come in a hardcover. I should have probably double checked, but I was just super excited to find a series that I was reading <laughs> on Book Outlet. I wonder what it looks like without the dust jacket. Oh. It's green and black. Not my favorite. But... I'm excited to finish this series. I hope this month, next month, some month. At some point I'll finish this. I'm reading the second one right now. I only have 100 pages left, so I need to finish it. And then I need to read the book for book club because, man, I'm pretty sure that's in like three days. Oops. The other book I bought was Avenged by Amy Tintira. This is the sequel to Ruined. I really liked Ruined. I thought it was fun. It was interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't really remember what happened. So I think I'm just going to keep this, wait for the last book, and then reread them all quickly. And lastly, I tried to nominate this for book club last month and everyone was like, Sydney, that sounds too weird. Uh, I got Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. This is supposedly supposed to be an awesome thriller. Me and my mom love to buddy read thrillers together because I'm a cool person who hangs out with her mom. Um, but this sounds crazy and I am so excited to read it. I also want to read it with my friend because I feel like her and I have the same reading taste. But mine's just a little more out there and if I can push her just a little bit out of her comfort zone, she'll like it. <laughs> So this is one that will be definitely added to the shelves behind me. And again, it's not as long as I thought it would be. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick book haul. Uh, I don't usually do this on my channel, but if you guys are interested in me doing this like quarterly, I certainly could, I guess. It might just mean random things getting pulled off the shelf, but I can do that. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these books, please let me know. What was your latest purchase and like... Why did you buy it? Because some of us, I know, me, some of these were filler books to add to my cart. It's okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye!